It was in early 2009 when I uh, first came up with the idea to write a book. I remember I would be journaling while I was traveling, mostly in the airplane, uh, when I'm flying to different shows, and I'd be reading books and taking notes. And uh, I read in my journal the other day that I had an idea to write a book. I was like, man, that's that's when it actually happened. And uh, it didn't actually, I don't think I actually started writing though until like 2011. So the idea was like first, you know, incepted. Uh, was early 2009 and then it was a real process of thinking and I was busy touring and writing music and it's a big undertaking to to get involved in a book so it's not something that you just jump into and uh, I sure found that out as I got into it more. I really connected with the title of the record Fighter and I just thought that'd be a great title for a book. And as I was, you know, diving into the, the writing of this, I learned a lot about myself, I learned a lot about my story. I'm really picking apart and really challenging my thoughts. Like when you write a song, you know, obviously it's your thoughts out there, but when you're writing a book, you're really analyzing it. It's like another deeper level. And so I really thought about why I think certain things, and definitely when it comes to the principles and values I have as a person and my character, and just the way I wanted to get across it. What is the message I was really trying to get across with this book to challenge people? And the theme that really came was obviously to be a fighter, but most of all to overcome fear, because that was one of the biggest things that I feel like uh, I was set free from that really was a game changer in my life. Man, I've read so many books and there's just so many that have impacted me. Um, Probably the first one would be the one I got when I was married, and I didn't even read it right away. My wife did, but I was just too caught up in I don't know what, but it's called Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and it's by Robert Kiyosaki. And I remember one night I finally picked it up and started reading it, and I remember shouting to my wife, Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh my gosh, why didn't you tell me about this? And it just totally changed my life. I stayed up till 2 in the morning reading. I just could not put it down because I just wanted, because I was, we were in financial debt and turmoil and just a messed up situation. And so that book really helped to turn our finances around. And then uh, the second book I'd say would be um, How to Reach Your Life Goals by Peter Daniels. Um, a friend of ours turned us on to this guy um, after church and I went home and we watched his uh, him speak, and I was just like blown away with what he challenged and what he, what he was challenging us on. And so I ordered his books on Amazon, and uh, that book just changed my life. It wasn't just about setting goals for your for your week or for your for the month or for the year, but setting goals for your life. And what are you trading your life for? Because you're going to trade your life for either a big dream, a small dream, or no dream. And the cost is going to be your life. So that was just like monumental. And then finally, the Bible, man, God's Word, you know. Um, out of all the books I've read, you know, it's God's Word um, that is alive. And that as much inspiration, as much knowledge, as much wisdom I get from people that have written down what they've written down, there's just something different when I, when I read the Bible. I, I wrote a song uh, called Glory that talks about how the, the letters illuminate. And sometimes that's what it feels like because there's just something that hits your chest when you read that. Like there's just really power and authority behind it and uh, whether it's the Proverbs or the Psalms or you know uh, Jesus' story um, and Matthew, Mark, Luke and John and just how to love, how to treat your wife, how to treat your family, how to deal with finances and business and write songs. It just, it just goes through everything and it really is a like a, a blueprint for your life that you can follow and it's, it's just I got good results on it. It's just changed my life so that would have to be number one. I think that songwriting, depending on the mood or depending on who I'm with or I don't know what it is, but it's hard. You know, songwriting is, you know, it, I love it though. And sometimes when you get into that jag and you're just flowing into that creative space, it is amazing. It's beautiful and it flows. But sometimes when it's not, it's frustrating. And when it came to writing the book, I found it was just a real different like approach. And I found it a little easier. Um, I don't know why, but I found I could get my thoughts out a little bit more. Um, I definitely teamed up with a co-writer to help me massage my thoughts and just take my writing and take my ideas and develop it a little bit, kind of like how a producer would take um, my song and help, you know, adjust things and mold things to make it better. But um, it was definitely a different process, but it, it was fun. I really enjoyed it and I, I look forward to writing another book. 
Um, I first heard of Pledge Music when I was in Cannes, France for uh, the MEDEM conference. And uh, I was hearing one of the speakers talk about crowdfunding campaigns and stuff and just mobilizing your fans. And Benji was uh, one of the uh, speakers there and just talking about Pledge Music. And just his passion um, for artists and for music just won my heart, man. And just talking about different stories and teaming up and the different creative ideas to just get fans involved. Because this isn't about, you know, just, hey, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. It's like, hey, man, like, this is my heart. I want to show you behind the scenes. I want to show you how we do this, why we do it, and just really get involved. And it's not like this, hey, I'm the rock star writer up here and the fans are here. It's no, we come together. And because I always said from the beginning, I wrote this book for my fans. I wrote it, you know, for, you know, my, my friends and my family and just for, for people to change lives. It's not to just say, hey, put this thing out, you know? And uh, when we connected, I was just like, man, this is a good company, this is a good team, good partnership, and um, it's been a great experience. Well, the original timeline for the book was supposed to be last year, uh, and then it was supposed to be like early spring, and now we've pushed it back to August because it takes a while to write a book if you want to do it right, if you want it to be designed right. And uh, we're doing like a lot of like really customized cool stuff in the book. It's not just going to be like this black and white text and stuff. There's going to be crazy photos, crazy design. It's going to, the whole book is going to be ins inspirational. Like um, I can't wait. Uh, my wife uh, Melanie from Vision City is uh, designing it and just we're just trying to put as much love as we can. So right now it's going to be coming out in August and that gives us a lot of time um, to get that done. So look out for it in August. Yeah, I just want to thank all my friends, my family, um, everyone that's kind of journeyed with me uh, since I released my first CD to now releasing my first book and you know it's kind of like I remember releasing my first CD, I was super excited and whatever, and just like a school kid, you know, like, oh, this is awesome, and that's what it kind of feels like with this book, and, uh, because you're just putting yourself out there, and, um, you know, that's what this book is all about, though, like, especially the Courage chapter, just like, how do you start, and just encouraging people to step out and just go for it, because, uh, you know, I, I, I can relate, you know what I mean? And so I just want to say thank you guys, you've been so supportive. If you haven't got a chance to pledge yet and pre-order this book, do it now because a lot of these uh, um, packages and things that we have and, and the price and everything is just really like low and affordable so that you guys can get involved. So check that out and I'll see you soon.